you explain that paleo diet or the one that you were talking about exactly what what is that constitute of um, whatever hunters and gatherers were gathering and hunting it's a very simple thing I, I wrote a book about it uh, from historical perspective I have my DVD lecture series on the same subject because Sometimes, you know, every patient have to explain things. It's easy to give them DVDs, so not going to bother me. And I can actually work without talking. Um, but it works a very simple way. Good meats, good, uh, good, uh, good fats. Meat consists of seafood, any kind of animal, protein, any kind of poultry. Okay. Is it easy enough to get in the United States? I think it is. Okay? Try to be as clean as possible. Okay? If you can afford organic, that's the best. Vegetables, all of them. Obviously, not a star, a less the starchy ones, more green leafy vegetables, whatever grows in nature. Fruits, seasonal ones. You know, one of the biggest issues in the United States, we have summer in the re refrigerator 365 days a year, constantly. Yeah. Human body never rests from fructose. Sometimes it needs to rest. And we're overloading our kids and adults and elderly with too much. You need to, be, you need to understand, have understanding and moderation. Okay? So that's what paleo diet is. I always give my uh, patient a uh, wonderful metaphor. Imagine you're a caveman. In the morning, you're coming out from your bedroom like a cave with a spear. Come to the refrigerator. Eat what you kill. Okay? With some vegetables, of course. An important thing is, I'm not saying you need to eat meat. I'm saying you need to eat vegetables with meat, not meat with vegetables. There's a big difference. Like usually men, steak, yay big, and two poor orphan broccolis on the side. It doesn't work that way. You're going to do more damage than good in the long run. You're supposed to have a good portion of a healthy green stuff or green vegetables with a portion of meat on top of it. Sure. That's the way your body going to receive what it needs to rebuild and clean itself. Again, I'm not a fanatic. If it's your birthday, have a chocolate cake. Yeah. Kind of mix. Make sense? I mean, and then on the other hand, I call it five fingers of life and five fingers of death. Things which actually agriculture gave us, in kind of way for the last couple of thousand years, few thousand years, like 10,000 years, give or take. Too much grains, too much refinated sugar, dairy, especially bad quality, uh, corn, and soy products. Those things need to be avoided. Especially if you want to do more good than damage. Yeah. All right. Um, can you eat those things sometimes? It's your choice. If you're a strong person, again, if you really feel like uh, you want that, uh, I don't know, sour cream on your cabbage rolls, and you're strong like a buffalo, I mean, why not? Enjoy it. Have a wonderful meal. But you're not eating half a bucket of sour cream every day. Nobody does that. You need to know moderation. Yeah. But people sometimes overloading themselves in the wrong direction.